So, race 15 from here at Cork is the first leg of the Moore's Million Series. It's the three mile five furlong. It's a chase event. Rides Norton for Darren Thompson is one. Catch and Nova Hassel for Thomas Rogers is two. Jadawi Stefano for James Shea is three. San Jose Optimistic for Vinny Gerard is four. Solo Blank for Craig Allen is Craig Allen is five. Alice Gahol for Alex Jerry is six. Banks of the Nile for Leon Van Rensburg is seven. Cozy Breeder for David Robinson is eight. Dawn of the New Age, Josh Sutherland, nine. Days are numbered for Punchable Racing at ten. Let's hope for D. Hooley. Search for Stu Gray. We be Clarity for Martin Niederman. Xenophobia for Jim Murray. Make up fourteen. Uh, three miles and a half, and then a bit of an extension, and we need to quieten that laddie up. That's a way to settle down here. And the first leg of the Moors Millions. Get to the first. Oh, we've lost one straight off, and it's Webby. Webby Clarity for Martin Leadham. Unlucky. Goes at the first. It's days unnumbered that's leading us for Graham Clotterbuck. Down to the second. We've got 22 fences to take. Oh, we've lost lost another one there. Surge goes this time, and another commentator's horse falls. It's mine. So that's two down. Both the commentators are out of this. We get to the big ditch, and they all manage to get over that one. So it's just our four commentators' horses that can't get over the plain ones. So it's days our number that still leads by about three or four to catch him over Hassel in second, and then Jadar with Stefano, and Solo Blank up against the fence, the grey xenophobia on the outside of that is Dawn of the New Age. They're followed through by Cozy Breeder, the second of the Greys. And the side of that is Panks of the Nile. The inside is Aluska Hope. Green Silks of San Jose, Optimistic, and Bryce Norton for Darren Thompson. Just in the rear. There's plenty of racing to be had, and three miles still to go. Things are numbered. Jadar with Stefano. To the fifth. Mistake there by Banks of the Nile. Still on his feet, though. Still days are numbered. Happy to lead them into the sixth, the plain one. Over that well. Nice Norton pecked a little bit on land towards the rear. And go over the seventh. Slow again at the rear was Bryce Norton. But it's still days unnumbered. Graham Clutterbuck as we go past the winning post. A few circuits to go here at Cork before we see our winner. Jadalis is finally in second, catching over Hassel was third, Xenophobia was fourth. And length back to Solo Blank, Dawn of the New Age. So in between those are Cozy Breeder and Banks of the Nile. And being pushed along a little bit at the back is Aluska Holt, looking for a bit of room. A couple of them wider, San Jose Optimistic and Let's Hope. And Bryce Norton sitting in the tail end, Charlie position happily. And we'll step over that one in the eighth. Days are numbered. Have to bowl along in the front. About three now to Jadar with Stefano. Xenophobia and Cachanova Hassel. Joshua Sutton's Dawn of the New Age. And to the Nile, Cozy Breeder and Solo Brent towards the fence. We get to the next. There's a number that leads over it well. Mistake there by it. Let's hope. He to hang on to his jockey, shuffles back into the rear. But still, days are numbered by a few to Jodar with Stefano and Xenophobia. And Dawn of the New Age, Solo Brent and Catching over Hassel. And having a bit of a race mid pack there to get a bit of room. Catching over Hassel just falls forward just on the outside of those is banks of the Nile. And the Uska hole's got a bit of room now. We get to the big ditch, the 11th. We get over that well as well. That's over the rear. Took it well. So we're just under two miles still to travel. It's days are numbered. Jadar with Stefano. Xenophobia is third. Dawn of the New Age and catching over Hassel. Then we've got Cozy Breeder and Solar Blank against the fence. Wider of those is Banks of the Nile. Now length back to the four of San Jose Optimistic. Bryce Norton and Aluska Hole. And let's hope. Take another plain one. Mistake of the rear there by San Jose Optimistic. It's Grand Clutterbuck Horse for Pontypool Racing. Days are numbered. Let's hope these days are not numbered. And stay out in the front. Take the first of the Moors Million Series leg qualifiers. Another plain one, the 13th. 
Place the numbers leads down just to a length now from Jadar with Stefano. Xenophobia the Great. And all of the new agent catching over Hassel. Oh, and the Jadar with Stefano made a mistake there. Just coming to draw alongside a long time leader of Days Unnumbered. Shuffles back by a couple of lengths ago. They're playing one of the 15th, so nine from home still. Plenty to, plenty to take. Still a mile and a quarter to run. Go past the winning post for the last time. Have a circuit to go. The one that's got a little bit detached now is Haliluska Holt. Starting to lose sight of him now. There's still days are numbered as they swing right handed again. Jadawi Stefano, Dawn of the New Age, Banks of the Nile, all getting closer order now. Xenophobia, the second grey cosy breeder. Green silks are catching over Hassel, right up against the fences, solo blank. Rise Norton just on the rear of those. Take the 16th rule over that. Oh, we've lost one. San Jose Optimistic's gone. I didn't see him lose that one. My apologies. So as we come down to the final mile, and it's days are numbered still from Jadawi Stefano, Dual of the new, new Age, and Xenophobia. We're all starting to bunch up now to this leader inside the final mile. So come down to the next. Days are numbered being pushed along a little bit now to maintain the lead. As they go over the 17th, really big slow jump by the leader there, and there's a loud dawn of the new age to bring, come alongside. And Xenophobia in third, crazy breeders out wide on fourth. Solo blank making up a little bit of ground, catching over hassle. I'm trying to tack back onto the back of the pack is Banks of Banks of the Nile jumped back really well and has got himself right up into contention. But it's Dawn of the New Age that takes it up now from days are numbered in second. The Grey Xenophobia and Cozy Breeder on the outside as they go over the big ditch the 19th. It's still Dawn of the New Age as some of them start to give way. And it's Dawn of the New Age being taken on by Banks of the Nile now. And it's Banks of the Nile that takes it up from Dawn of the New Age. The two Greys, Cozy Breeder and Xenophobia are being pushed along. Days are numbered. His days are numbered and he's going back Backwards and Solo Blank trying to catch up, but it's still Banks of the Nile that's got a two length advantage here from Dawn of the Nile in second. Cozy Breeder, oh, and he went straight through the top of that one, the leader there, and that's allowed Dawn of the New Age to get within a length. So it's Banks of the Nile still hanging on from Dawn of the New Age. Xenophobia running on Cozy Breeder, Solo Blank, they don't have got a lot left to catch this leader inside the final three. So it's Banks of the Nile from Dawn of the New Age, Xenophobia, Cozy Breeder, but the leader gets over the plane one well with just two to jump, and it's Banks of the Nile. From Dawn of the New Age, Xenophobia and Cozy Breeder, Solo Blank, the rest are out of it. But it's Banks of the Nile just hanging on as he goes over the penultimate, jumps it better than Dawn of the New Age. He's got a two length advantage. Xenophobia still trying to run on. We're inside the final furlong, and it's Banks of the Nile. Over the last bit slow, Dawn of the New Age took it well. Dawn of the New Age takes it up inside the final half. Banks of the Nile fights back on the inside, and it's Banks of the Nile fighting back well from Dawn of the New Age. Xenophobia trying to run on, but Banks of the Nile, where is he? But here comes Dawn of the New Age again. Dawn of the New Age takes it on the line from Banks of the Nile, which I think thought he had it in the bag. It was just a little bit from Dawn of the New Age. The line's a little bit. Take your money. He's won that by a nostril, I think. He has. We'll just check. From Xenophobia in third. All three of those will qualify for the final of the Moors Million. Week 13. So it is just a short head win for Dawn of the New Age for Josh Sutherland. Good win there. Banks of the Nile for the young Ren Rensburg was second. Xenophobia for Jim Murray was third. Bryce Norton got up for Darren Thompson in fourth. And Cozy Breeder for David Lab was fifth.